I've got four side hustles that no one is talking about that can earn you as much as $900 or more per day with basically no skill. All you have to do is choose one of these ideas and then execute. Americans throw away almost five pounds of trash per person every day, and all this trash ends up in your trash cans, where a garbage truck then comes and picks it up. But after the trash has been taken to the trash can, there's always something left over. Gunk, smelly garbage juice that attracts cockroaches, ants, rats, possums, and other rodents and pests that could eventually find their way into your home. And this is where you come in. You'd be really surprised to learn that a lot of people will pay you really good money to pressure wash their trash cans once every month or even as much as every week. Someone recently left a door hanging flyer at my house that was advertising this exact service. And what shocked me even more than the prices they were charging, given how little time it took to clean one trash can, was that people were overwhelmingly excited about this service and willing to pay for it. For example, I recently saw a post on Nextdoor where somebody was saying that they discovered a mobile trash can cleaning service and that they didn't even know this type of service existed, but they wished they had known sooner and all the comments under that post were filled with people who were overwhelmingly excited about the service. The best part is that getting started is incredibly cheap and easy. The first thing that you'll need, obviously, is a pressure washer. And the best part is, you don't even need an expensive commercial pressure washer that'll cost you thousands. A simple $70 to $150 battery-powered pressure washer will work perfectly fine. Now, you'll want to be sure that you buy some type of pressure washer that has a soap attachment that allows you to spray soap onto the trash cans before you actually pressure wash them. For the soap, you can either buy some cheap solution from a hardware store or Amazon, or simply use a watered-down mixture of Dawn dish soap. Alternatively, you could also use some type of separate cheap sprayer to spray the soap on, and these can be bought at Walmart or pretty much any hardware store. In terms of your equipment, that's all you need to get started. Now, the next thing that you'll need to do is actually get the word out about your business. There are a few different ways you can do this. You can post in local Facebook groups, Craigslist, or on sites like Nextdoor. These are all free ways that you can promote your business, and I would highly recommend that you do them. But there's something else that you should be doing if you want to get even more business, and that's creating physical door hanging flyers. These things are incredibly easy to create, and you can buy them super cheap in bulk on sites like Vistaprint. For example, 1,000 door hanging flyers can be bought there for 11 cents each. This means you can get 1,000 flyers for just $100, or if you want to start with less, you can buy as few as 50 for about 80 cents each. Obviously, if you buy more, you'll get a better deal. But in total though, with the pressure washer and the flyers, you should really only be spending between $100 and $300 to get started, which really isn't a lot of money considering how much you can make with this side hustle. I've seen people charging around $65 for one-time trash can cleanings and about $35 for monthly trash can cleanings, plus an extra $10 for every added trash can. I mean, imagine for a second that you cleaned four trash cans every hour for eight hours straight. That's 32 cans. Multiply that by $35 per can, and we're talking upwards of $1,100 or more per day. Or you could only work for a couple of hours and easily make hundreds of dollars. Folks, this side hustle is incredibly easy and cheap to start, requires zero skill, and is a service that a lot of people would pay money for. A couple of years ago, I bought a couple of pieces of artwork from Etsy. This is a stock market bull and a stock market bear and I paid roughly $200 each for this canvas artwork. Now, the interesting part about this and what I later learned is that while, yes, this is original artwork, the seller isn't actually the one producing these large canvas paintings and shipping them. Instead, they're using a print-on-demand service, something like Printify, to do all the back-end work for them. All the seller has to do is create the artwork, and that's it. Because once the artwork is created, all they have to do is apply the artwork to the canvas on Printify, link their Printify account to Etsy, and then every time someone buys one of these canvas paintings, the entire process, from manufacturing to printing and shipping, is handled by Printify. Now, I already know some of you are thinking, yeah, but I'm not an artist. 
I can't create original artwork, and so I guess I can't do this. Well, I'm actually glad you said that because recently I've been seeing a lot of ads on Instagram for these motivational canvases. Very simple artwork that shows some type of inspirational quote or some type of power word followed by the definition of that word. You could even get creative and tie something in from pop culture, like these Monopoly motivational posters that range from $6.54 to as high as $3,300, depending on the size of the poster. So, as you can see for yourself, you don't have to create or hand paint some original work of art in order to make this side hustle work. Motivational quotes, remixes of famous pop culture icons or famous people, or public domain artwork are all things that have been proven to sell time and time again. Now, I am intentionally moving through all this really quickly because I don't want to spend too much time going over the actual design aspect of this side hustle because that's going to be completely up to your creativity. If, however, you did need some design inspiration, I would recommend checking out a site called designspiration.com. You can go through and search for design inspirations based on color, or you could search for keywords like quotes or something else that'll help inspire you with your design ideas. Overall, though, I could easily see this side hustle turning into a full-time business that earns you well over six figures per year if you take the time to execute and take action on it. This next side hustle is extremely unique, and I've personally never seen anything else like it. This might actually be the easiest way to make money online with very minimal effort. So, I want you to think about every single time that you go to Amazon.com and shop. Sometimes you're just browsing through products because you're bored, and other times, if you're like me, you're always kind of searching for a specific product. And when you find that product, you see the image, you see the price, and you may go down and read the product description or the reviews. And oftentimes, what I'll do, especially if it's a bigger purchase, is actually go to the videos and watch a video review for the product. Now, here's something fascinating that literally nobody thinks about except for the few people who are making these videos. The creators who are making these reviews are getting paid to make these videos. Every time somebody watches at least 30 seconds of one of these videos and then proceeds to buy the product or a similar product on Amazon, that creator will get a commission from the sale. You've really got to think about this for a second, okay? So, these Bose headphones have close to 20,000 reviews and we already know that only a tiny, tiny fraction of the people who buy a product actually end up leaving a review. And so, these headphones are likely being bought hundreds of thousands of times. And I would imagine that out of those hundreds of thousands of sales, quite a few people are looking at the video reviews of the product before actually making their purchase. And the craziest part about all of this is that literally nobody knows this is a thing. And so there's basically no competition. For example, if I go to these Apple AirPod Max headphones, you can see that there are zero video reviews. Not a single person has made a video review about these Apple headphones, even though we know that based on the number of star reviews that it has, these headphones are definitely being bought hundreds of thousands of times. And there are a lot of these products, probably tens, even hundreds of thousands of products, that either have very little or no video reviews. So imagine if you made a video review of this product. We know that Amazon pays a commission rate of 2% on electronics. And while this may not sound like a lot of money, it starts adding up really fast. Imagine that out of 100,000 hypothetical sales, 5,000 people watched your review video of this product before making their purchase. This means you would earn about $55,000 on this one product alone. Imagine though if you had video reviews for 10, 20, 100 different products. Imagine how much that would start to compound and how much you would earn over time. And these reviews don't even have to be anything crazy. Most people making them are probably just doing it on their phones. Oh, but you would have to buy the product in order to do the review, and I don't have a lot of money. Okay, that's fine. Buy it, review it, and then return it. Why not? It doesn't get much easier than this, folks. There's so much money out there to be made. You just have to take the leap and start taking action. So, I recently spoke with somebody who started a successful six-figure Etsy shop by finding a product on AliExpress, buying it for super cheap, and then selling it at a marked up price on Etsy. And the crazy part is that it only took her six months to do this. 
And before this business, she was working a standard 9 to 5 job as a dental assistant, not very happy and not making a lot of money, and then her life changed completely. So, how exactly was she able to do this? Well, it all starts on AliExpress, an online retail store based in China where you can buy heavily discounted products to then resell at a much larger markup on sites like Amazon and Etsy. Products like this sunset projection lamp, which only costs 49 cents, could easily be sold for 20 or 30 times the amount on sites like Amazon and Etsy. In fact, this is literally the exact same product as the one that only costs 49 cents on AliExpress. How do I know? Well, because the Amazon product is even using the exact same images from AliExpress. Folks, this person is buying this lamp for 49 cents on AliExpress and then selling it for between 20 and 34 dollars on Amazon. Now, I'm not a rocket scientist, but according to my calculator, that means they're making between 19 and 33 dollars in revenue for every single sale. And we know these things are selling extremely well because they have close to 2,500 reviews. So, this seller is definitely earning over six figures per year with this one product alone. Now, that all sounds great, right? But the question becomes, how exactly do you find these winning products on AliExpress? Well, you actually have to kind of work backward. The first thing you do is decide what platform you're going to sell on, Etsy, Amazon, or both. And then, depending on the platform, you'll just have to do some research to figure out what products people are buying. On a site like Amazon, you could certainly search through the top selling products in each category to see what's most popular, but this is only one approach because there's going to be thousands of different products that technically are a top selling product that still get tens of thousands of sales and can earn you well over six figures per year. And so, whether you're selling on Etsy or Amazon or both, you simply have to go through all the different categories and shuffle through dozens of different products and product categories to see what's selling the best. It'll be pretty obvious to see what's popular and what's not, and you can also use Google Trends, which will help you understand what products are trending at the moment. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more weekly investment tips. Leave a comment below. Happy investing!